it's because it's got 180 on each side. Oh yeah, oh, right. and it snitches the two yeah. halves together. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and you join me at the start of a bit of an adventure in the Discovery 3. So from the title you would have seen that we're going to go to Ben Nevis in this car um, and I'll go on to the why and kind of what we're doing in a minute. But first of all, Discovery 3 all the way to Scotland, probably not the car I would have chosen to do that distance. I did a very similar trip in my Jaguar XK8 um, well, over 18 months ago now and that was definitely more suited to driving that long distance. But because of what we're doing, the Discovery 3 is suited for the purpose, as I'll tell you in a sec. Um, plus, um, there's some bits and pieces that have changed, so I want to give them a go as well. So first of all, let's get into the why and what, and it's a little bit deep, so do bear with me. Last year, one of our mates, Lauren, took his own life. And male suicide in this country is a real problem, with males being three to four times more likely to take their own lives. Now, Lauren's passing was devastating and shocking for all of his friends and family, obviously, but it prompted one of my friends, um, Michael Chadwick, or Chad as he's known, to try and raise awareness and money for a men's suicide charity, Men's Minds Matter. And what he's doing is actually a variation of the Three Peaks Challenge. So we're going to start up at Ben Nevis, where he's going to climb that peak. But the difference between that and the Three Peaks Challenge is he's going to cycle to the next one, Scaffold Pike in the Lake District, climb that, then cycle from the Lake District to Sno uh, Snowdonia and climb the final peak there, um, completing the challenge. So the way I'm going to help him out is I'm going to drive him up to Ben Nevis and actually hike the first one with him. And then he'll go on his merry way on his bike and I get to sit in comfort on the motorway on the way back. Uh, but um, <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Discovery 3 obviously to take the bike up there which is why we need a bigger car uh, and I'm going to be using this as a bit of a camper van rather than a tent uh, setup that I've used previously so once we get to the campsite I'll show you how that's going to work and hopefully have uh, a good time so serious background but hopefully a bit of a fun trip and what I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, Chad's Just Giving page um, or whatever it is, local giving. Um, so if anybody feels they want to donate to this worthy cause, then, then they can do. Or even if this video prompts someone who is kind of in trouble to pick up the phone and speak to someone, then it would have been worth it. So I've got to go and get Chad from the station. So let's get a move on. So here we are then at Ben Nevis base camp. We set up the uh, the tent. You can see Chad down there just chilling before the, the big hike tomorrow. Um, so that's uh, Mike's stuff. He's got his bike over there to carry on the, the touring afterwards. Um, it's quite windy actually, so that's why it's on the floor on its side. But this is the the disco, uh, and obviously got the roof rack and awning on the top. But I've not put out the awning because it's a bit bit windy but I'll, I'll take you inside the disco just to see the setup in here so first of all I've got some of these insulated window panels these are actually the wrong size they sent me the wrong ones they'll be the front doors instead of the side doors but I'm trying to make them work best I can and in here it's a bit darker and you can see the boot panels uh, are in place the boot windows and the rear tailgate so it's a lot darker in here and that's important when you're 
camping so you don't get woken up too early. Obviously the sunroofs are still there but like blocked out by um, the, the screens and the roof rack there so hopefully not too bright in the morning. And um, here I've got some old sofa cushions, you could use a light mattress instead if you wanted to but I just had these and they're quite comfy with my sleeping bag on top. And then this is just a really cheap curtain, um, not mandatory because if you had the full set of insulated window things you could get away with uh, not having these you could just put all those windows in but it's good just to screen that off anyway in case you wanted to store stuff in the front which I have so that's kind of us for the evening the drive was fine and the disco was all right um, long though it took probably 10 hours or so to drive up here but uh, fuel economy about 30 miles per gallon which isn't too bad for this so I didn't think this would be a good car to take on this trip simply because the fuel economy is really bad and um, yeah but it's a comfortable car on long journeys anyway there was one other bad thing I thought about this car oh yeah it's just not very sort of dynamic I guess so it's not very fast or sort of good around the corners which when you get to some twisty roads up here in the in the highlands um, it's not quite as fun as the Jag which I took last time so that's it for now uh, we're gonna probably just chill for a bit then go to bed reasonably early uh, ready for the hike tomorrow which I'll try and bring you along for so see you then well morning from a very windy and wet Ben Nevis um, last night was quite eventful uh, there was quite a lot of high wind and uh, Chad's tent blew down and broke uh, in the middle of the night um, which meant we were we were two up in the in a discovery which wasn't the most comfortable just because of the way it was configured with all the stuff in here there's not really a lot of sort of room in here so didn't get much sleep probably between two and four hours which is not great ahead of a, a hike up uh, a mountain but um, the good news is that Mike's been able to kind of fix his tent putting it down now but he's able to kind of fix some of the poles that are bent you can see some down here definitely got a bit of a bit of a curve to it that one um, so the plan now then once we get sorted here is just really to to start hiking but we've still got this yellow weather warning which probably isn't you know the best sort of conditions to do this type of hiking but you know how hard can it be it's only a little mountain it's not like an alp or something but maybe i'll regret saying that anyway we're gonna get ready to go and uh, see what it's like up there exciting sort of
Wow, so that was an amazing hike up Ben Nevis. We managed to do it in just under five hours in the end, so up, down with a 25 minute break at the top. So quite a decent time, I think, for a first attempt at, at going up there. As you would have seen from the video, the weather was quite kind to us on the way up. Amazing scenery, great views and uh, really recommended to do it in good weather but as we approached the summit it was a lot wetter and windier um, which made it slightly more miserable and got very sort of soaked in all my clothes even my waterproof jacket uh, and shoes uh, managed to let water in so the way down was very soggy and the rain didn't really let up until just a minute ago so Chad has just got on his bike to continue the rest of his journey and I wish him the best of luck I hope the weather stays dry-ish for him and his uh, tent holds up for the rest of the of the journey um, so yeah it's not going to be an easy one for him and it's going to be quite challenging so if anybody wants to donate anything to this very worthwhile cause then, then please yeah link in the description below for his um, giving page there so yeah if you feel generous and want to support uh, men's minds matter then, then please do that so for me now I think what I'm going to try and do is just see how far I can get um, before I start feeling really really tired I would love to get home now but I think it's probably a little bit too late uh, but I might push on through because I think it'd be worth it I don't really fancy another night camping if I can avoid it simply because last night was so um, well it would have been comfortable actually if it was just me but I think with the weather and everything and just generally camping you don't get as good a night's sleep I prefer just to get in my own bed but we'll see how we do uh, so I guess that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it a bit more of a, a different one for the discovery using it as a camper van which it kind of worked for two berth now as I've proved not the most comfortable but yeah it seemed to work but what I'm going to do is I'll probably end up doing a separate video on everything I've done with the car to get it sort of camper vans uh, ready sort of thing um, and we may even use it as a camper van for the Goodwood Revival which is in a few weeks so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Cheers then, bye bye.